Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. Anfield was the venue as Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool welcomed under-fire coach Brendan Rodgers and Leicester City in the English Premier League. The last time both teams met, Leicester clipped the Reds 1-0. So would Liverpool get revenge and stay in touch with the high-flying Manchester City? We have the highlights. For every Manchester City statement, Liverpool need a response in the face of the searing, relentless pace being set at the top of the table. It's not the potent counter-attacking force when Vardy's not in the side, but this is a chance for Madison. Madison did well to throw something at it. Jones for Firmino. Alexander-Arnold urged to shoot. Great first touch. Schmeichel dealt with the second one. The confidence is there from Alexander to come on his weaker side, and he caught it very well with that left foot too. Schmeichel well positioned. Mino trying to get free towards the edge of the six yard box. He's got it. Schmeichel powerless to do anything about it. Diogo Jota taps it in. A milestone goal for the Liverpool forward. Number 100 in his club career. It's all about stopping Van Dijk. He's um, Liverpool's tallest and best header of the ball. And he's just escaped. Indeed, he's clutches. And he's just got the run on the Nigerian. And yes, Michael did well. It was a snap reaction on his part. But that's where goal scorers get a lot of their goals from. Fabinho getting it away from the challenge of Barnes. That's it. Stretching out a leg. Firing it Goal number two for Diogo Jota. You know, not the best decision from Barnes to turn back into the numbers. And there's a lovely little ball from from Matip. I mean, Thiago would have been proud of that, the way he just flicked it with the outside of his right foot to get shot in. And last chance to deliver a potent ball. Alisson deals with the threat, and that is that. Well, in the days of the fixture, Wolves were looking to break into the top six with a victory as they entertained Arsenal at the Molyneux. So which coach would be the happier after the 90 minutes? Let's take some action. Sight is familiar as the players take a knee, but the message is no less important for all its familiarity. No room for discrimination in our game. Wolverhampton Wanderers underway from right to left against Arsenal. In goes this free kick. Oh, it's skimmed off Ruben Neves and hit Cody. White for Lacazette and in. The goal stands. Gabriel scores for Arsenal. Ruben Neves, as you mentioned, Steve, who makes this first little bit of contact. Now there's a problem. Arsenal will do well to keep it alive now. Payance is the referee. Pudence took it and then was knocked over. And now Martinelli starts to clean you. That's going to be a yellow card for Gabriel Martinelli. It's all happening. It's not an easy one. Well, he wow. sent him off. If the first sitch, if the first push on Pedence was a foul, then you've got to give the yellow card immediately. And the ball goes in. That's in. The flag's up. It's not going to count. Oh, offside. Yeah, there are offside. You can see that the gold shirts. It's just who it came off. Pudence, oh, first touch was outstanding. Neves curling ball, Ramsdale's cup. Romain Sais, that's a wonderful strike and a great save. Was it? Dale a chance and the Arsenal players a chance just to take all the heat out of it. That's that save from Romain Sais. Good stop. And this one again, off that Semedo cross, making sure he comes out and puts something on it. there for Liverpool and Arsenal. Well, Arsenal, they were reduced to 10 men after Gabriel Martinelli was booked twice in the space of a few seconds. Manager Mikel Arteta expressed his bemusement and disappointment with a decision from referee Michael Oliver. Yeah, tough enough to play against a really good uh, Wolves team here away from home and we made it even more difficult playing again with 
with 10 men, but overall the result is um, really, really positive for us. Obviously, we need to win it. Um, we've done it, but uh, yeah, we suffered a lot in the last 20 minutes. I never seen something like it. So the rules can say that probably it's possible. Uh, you have to be very, very willing to do that. All right, so George and Lance, I think it's fitting that we start by talking about the red card. First, you know, your assessment, what you thought about what Arteta said. Should it have been a red card? The, the, the problem, the, the abiding problem I have with many, well, not many, with some pundits, especially those who work on commentary on mm -hmm. games, is this. They make a lot of off-the-cuff comments that are ill-informed and which they never apologize for. I was doing some commentary recently and I got something wrong and I, and I apologized for it. And someone said, but George, you know, you, you were apologizing for it just someone did away. And that's why people don't do it. But it's my, I don't know if, any, if every journalist has a personal credo, but I do. Once I make an error, I'm apologizing for it because yeah. nobody's perfect. Because you feel like it's yeah? your duty. It is, it is my yeah. duty to give correct information. That's the first thing. So if I'm giving something that's incorrect, I'm going to tell you that, oh, I got it wrong. The right thing is this. But not, most people don't do that because most people want to come across as perfect. So I say all that to say this. You heard the analyst on the commentary say that if the referee deemed that the first Martinelli foul was a yellow card, then he must stop the game and give him the real card. If, if, if Mr. Producer, if we could play it without the music and with the commentary as we had it, like, that would be helpful so the viewers can hear it because they may have missed it. Well, Pionce the referee, Pudence took it and then was knocked over and then Martinelli started to clean him. That's going to be a yellow card for Gabriel Martinelli. It's all happening. It's not an easy one. Well... Sent him off. Gabriel Martinelli has been shown two yellow cards in the same passage of play, and Arsenal are down to ten men. It's because he grabbed the ball and he wouldn't put it down. I think, well, unless because there was a foul here initially. Watch when this went out for a, for a throw in there. Watch him. He gives his yeah. there. Yeah. Now he so, chases after. Yeah. <laughs> Tomato, and obviously that is a blatant cop, but now he also goes and picks the ball up. So exactly what Michael Oliver has done there, I'm not entirely sure, but it could be a game-changing moment, that. It certainly could. No, the, 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 Gabriel Martinelli becomes the latest... The cut we, Neves, as you mentioned, the, the, Steve, makes this... The cut we had, the cut we had said, what I heard him clearly say, if the referee is going to give him the yellow card, then he must stop the play and give him the yellow card. That's not so. I think he said it after we saw the free kick. Yeah, right. It was when the play right. so advanced that's the wrong, to the free kick. I wanted kick. the passage of, I wanted the order yeah. that we played before, the we, kick. before we came to the analysis. Yeah. But, 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 but it's fine. I remember you reacting right. clearly. So. Right. Because I, I think important. we're getting it now. It's important for the viewers to hear for themselves. Go ahead. Yeah, there are offside. You can see the, the gold shirts. It's just who it came off. Podence. If the first sitch, if the first push on Podence was a foul, then the, you've got to give the yellow card immediately. Right, that's it. Excellent work. That's rubbish. Yeah. The referee does not have to pull back the play to give a yellow card because what the, the referee throw was did, taken and the play continued. Exactly. Yeah. So the referee was letting the game flow. Then no, after barging over the the, the second player, Chiquinhos, yes. That's when play was stopped because of the, the, the blatant fall and the, and, and, and the ball carrier uh, being pushed over. The referee stops the play and says, OK, so I'm booking you for two offences. The first offence and the second offence, red card. But I'm saying the problem I have with commentators, Lance Mariah, is that very often people say these things off the cuff and they say, well, you know, I think, I'm not sure, but I think so and so and so. You're criticising the certain decision of a referee and you're rebutting, you're, you're contradicting the referee with an opinion that even you are not sure is right. Yeah. I have a serious mm. problem with that. And commentators do it all the time. But because there's no consequence for reasoning this way and saying these things, they continue to say it. And I'm saying in that passage of play, people watching the game who believe that, well, the analyst has played several games and is, I don't want to say something that I really want to say. But this analyst has played many games, and because his analyst is in a lofty position, if he says it, it must be right. Mm -hmm. But in those ways, in those moments, we misinform people about the rules of the game, and we cause 
people to have a negative view of referees when they really ought not to. We lead them to think the worst when in fact, in truth and in fact, in terms of managing the game, Michael Oliver got the decisions right. Yeah, but it happens all the time where the, the, in the run of play, a referee opts not to stop the play but registers in his head that this was a yellow card yeah. offense. And the moment he gets an opportunity to present the then yellow he card, he will, he will do it. So I, I'm not sure why the analyst just said that. Because uh, it, yeah. it, is, it, it is proven well, he didn't that know, it, clearly, it, it, yeah. cause... I, I, You know, something that, that, that we do on our commentary, Lance, I always walk with, well, I used to walk with a, a hard copy, but the electronic copy is so much easier to, to manipulate. The laws of the game. So if something happens that I'm not sure about that the referee has done, and there's time, I consult it. He can bear me out that I do walk with that and I've lived through it. What does the rule say? Oh, viewers, the rule says so and so and so rather than, well, you know, I think yes, so and so game. and so. Yeah, because, no, because you are supposed to be the fountain of knowledge at that point. And, and, mm. and, yes, but I'm saying, and I'm saying as well, that people, because they're in a position where they're expected to be the fountain of knowledge and the, 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 the knowers of everything, they just spout opinions without leading That's on the facts. Good. And you heard him shoot off the hip there mm -hmm. when, in terms of the rule concerning the law of the game, he was wrong. And he, he, he has now caused some people to think that the referee got the decision wrong. And when, it, when in truth and in fact, it was not so. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now let's move back to the fact that Arsenal, they got a win. George yeah. and Liverpool, yeah. they also got wins. So the Premier League table, you know, a bit shaken up. Good win for Arsenal. They... The performance wasn't smooth right throughout, but it shows the resilience of the squad. And look, Arteta is on to something good here. I, I, I like how Arsenal have played this year. There have been some disappointing results. Look at the lost column. Yeah. Seven games they've lost uh, so far this season from 22 games. Uh, and I, so, so that's worrying in itself. But there are times when Arsenal look as if they are finding their feet. And, you know, I, I want to congratulate the Arsenal fans who stuck with this manager when the times were tough. Mm. Yeah. The fact is, too, they've been having a red card problem. They've had red cards <laughs> four of their last six matches. This, by the way, is their first victory since Boxing Day. Mm. And they haven't scored many goals. I think their goal today was probably the first goal since New Year's Day yeah. or something. And they got a red card. Yeah, so, um, you know, kudos to Arsenal for getting a result today, even though they were short-staffed. And um, Liverpool getting a win. Jota. Yeah. Only, only Mo Salah has scored more goals than Jota yeah. in the English Premier League so far this season. Yeah. So, um, good on him. Yeah, Superb. he's been incredible. Look, look at their for goals for a column. 60 goes against 19. They're flying this season. <laughs> and uh, I, I really hope that it comes... I don't want City to walk to the title. I don't want any team to walk to the title. I want to see a, a, a battle for the title. Chelsea have been cut adrift. But it looks as if Liverpool is going to provide City with that competition that... Here's this now that us neutral fans want to see. He doesn't want to see City walk to the title. No, man. I no, but, you, but, but Mariah, City. you recognize what the problem is. George, George is in a... His, his back is against the wall. Yeah. His because team the, the team the best equipped to challenge them is Liverpool. And he doesn't want Liverpool to win. I know. So George has a problem. He, yeah, he does. <laughs> we have to go to break. I'd rather George I, has a problem. I'd rather Man United get relegated. That Liverpool win the Premier League. I, I take I, Man U relegated. I, I know that, yeah, George. Yeah, and I, I know you're being it. honest as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being really honest. Not, not the usual thing. Yeah. I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, we have to go to take a break now. <laughs>